What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a while. Been gone for a couple weeks just uh, handling things here around the house. Um, but how y'all been? How y'all doing? Comment down below. Let me know. And hopefully everything looks a little bit clearer. I changed up my lighting and I actually messed with my settings on the camera. I wasn't recording in 4K which I thought I always was so y'all probably see everything including this little some that popped up anyway uh today's video we're gonna be trying rejuvenator mink oil i've been wanting to try it i have a couple of pairs that i got for the low back in the day off of ebay off of uh different platforms that i got for cheap prices and this pair today is going to be these sevens right here and if it'll focus on it y'all will see i'm going to give y'all the close-up view on it you could see right there this it's not too, too bad considering it's a, an O2 pair, but the suede has seen better days as far as the, the part that's uh, the lighter suede, as I could, as I would say. It's not in the worst condition, a couple of scuffs and stuff, but I think I bought these back in the day, if I'm not mistaken, for maybe like 30 or 40 bucks. The paint is actually not that bad on these. There's a couple little spots where it's kind of rubbing off, but I really don't care. I just want to rock this pair and I've had them for about four or five years maybe more i want to say about four years though just sitting around i have a bin over here with just a bunch of project shoes that i haven't got around to um and yeah basically uh the directions on this which i'll show them to y'all here so y'all could see just says using a well ventilated area material should be clean and dry prior to applying hold can upright spray six to eight inches from surface Wait five minutes to dry, then wipe off excess. Now, as it says on there also, if y'all saw it right there, uh, it does make some lighter leathers dark. Uh, and considering there's two different colors on here, this will probably get darker. But I really don't care. I just don't want to wear it and have it looking that ashy, which y'all can see there. Um, just because that does not look good. It looks more like a old leather, which suede is a leather, but you know what I mean by that. Um... But considering that I paid like 30 or 40 bucks for them, I got the laces still, which came with those little chrome tips. Um, but yeah, it's an older pair that I wanted. And when I saw the price on it, it was when the, it might've just been like three years ago, maybe. It was when the Adidas hype was up. I was still looking for Jordans and stuff since I never jumped on that train. I tried it a couple of times, but it just didn't work. But I just want to try out this rejuvenator mink oil. Um, this is the shoe that I have already tried it on. There is some little areas that I still need to work on, but y'all can see right here, this is the finished shoe. The areas that were light gray turned a little bit darker. And this area right here, as far as the toe box, there's a little piece that I need to re-glue, but I just wanted to see what it would do with the suede. Y'all can see, uh, hopefully y'all can see, I'll show y'all some B-roll as well. But the suede does look a little bit more just uh, flat. It looks more like a leather. I really don't, mind it i just didn't want it to look real ashy because it looked like i don't know just suede that was way past its prime but as y'all can see here it's looking a lot better since i am recording in 4k now hopefully it looks a lot clearer for y'all um and these are getting a little bit as y'all can see let it focus right there it's opening up gotta close it the tab is starting to crack, so I have to get as many wears as I can get out of the shoes. Uh, but that's basically what it's going to look like. And the way I use this is the mink oil, of course, rejuvenator mink oil. I use just the, any microfiber cloth. And I used a spare uh, brush that I had. I actually picked this up from the flea market a long time ago. It's a kiwi brush. Uh, soft bristle since it is suede. You don't want to scratch up the suede, have it looking uglier than it already was um and basically i'm gonna apply it real quick but y'all i'm gonna time lapse it because i don't want to be taking in the fumes i'm gonna turn on my fan which i don't want y'all hearing um so yeah i'm gonna time lapse that and then come back but you can see the before right here we can get that before because we're not gonna have another shoe to do the before with <laughs>
All right, guys, and y'all saw that was kind of just a quick uh, time lapse of how I sprayed it. I slowed it down here and there, but you can see the final result. The shoes, in my opinion, look a lot better. Um, and I'm using this tra tracking little thing on the camera now. Like I said, I'm trying to switch stuff up. I think it looks a lot better, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, I think this pair took it a little bit better than the other pair. But I was kind of just learning on this first, I mean, this first shoe. This one came out a little bit darker, which y'all can see. I'll try to put them side by side. Hopefully, it'll focus pretty good. This side still looks pretty gray um, on these areas right here that are lighter. This side looks a lot darker. So, I may have just overdone it but it's not a big difference in person you could see a little bit more on the camera but in person you can't really tell um but overall i think that spray worked pretty good and i didn't even show it which i, I recorded it right now kind of what i did but once i finished spraying it um i thought i was recording still and i guess i had turned it off prematurely but basically i just went over the whole area of suede with the bristle brush and just kind of to keep that suede um, kind of bring the nap back a little bit it didn't work too much as far as bringing the nap back but it's more like a new book I guess it does still have a little bit of that that texture like when you when you put your finger back and forth but it was kind of dry in these areas so the, the suede wasn't in the best condition um, but overall I think it worked pretty good because all you got to do is basically spray it on the suede so it's not hard to use the only gripe that I would have with it, and I'm just being 100 with y'all, y'all may still hear the air because I can hear it. I have the this thing still. It stinks for a while, guys. So you might want to give it like two days outside or like in a well-ventilated area or a room that you don't use because it stinks pretty good. Um, but you, if you can do it outside, do it outside. More power to you. But I had to record the video while I did it, so got the fan on full blast because I don't want to be breathing that stuff in. But yeah, rejuvenator mink oil is getting blown up. Here we go. Rejuvenator mink oil getting blown up, but uh, yeah, in my opinion, it worked. Um, the only thing is, like I said, it's a small bottle. So if y'all are planning to do more than one or two pairs of shoes, maybe even three pairs, depending on your shoe size and how much suede is on the shoe, because these are all suede shoes, all new buck, whatever you want to call them, Durabuck shoes. So you're going to use more product. Um, I was able to use it on two pairs of shoes, which was this pair and uh, my Grape Fives, which I'll put a picture up here. I rocked them. It does also, those were kind of beat as well. So I guess it does work. It makes the, the suede look more uniform in color and does give it, uh, I guess, moisturizes the suede, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, and overall, I was satisfied with it. I'm kind of trying to give you my thing, but I have my mind all over the place at the same time, guys, and I haven't recorded in a while, so I'm kind of hyped uh, to record for y'all, and hopefully I'll be bringing more videos. I'm sorry about missing out for a couple weeks. Anyway, yeah, overall, I'm satisfied with the product. Um, it seems to do a good job on the suede. I haven't tried it like on a buttery, buttery pair of suede, like my favorite pair, which is my Varsity 6s, so I may be doing that in the future, but... I'm basically almost out of product, so uh, yeah, I gotta order some more. And Rejuvenator has been doing like a rebranding, so it may look different. The bottle now, I'm not 100%. Uh, I ordered this probably about six months ago when they had a sale. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it worked and it made the shoe look a lot more uh, wearable, a lot better. I do gotta put the, the laces back on and stuff. I may do like an on foot later for y'all, but I want to throw this video out here just to give y'all my opinion of it. It was real easy to use. All you got to do is clean the shoe, but these shoes I already had cleaned them a few times. That's where I was trying to get the moisture back into the suede, but each time I cleaned it, they just got drier and drier. So I needed that mink oil to get into the the actual material and, and uh, bring it back to life. I probably do need to go over it again. Uh, but I just don't want to oversaturate it and mess it up. But it is oil. I don't think it'll mess it up. But uh, it may just look more leathery instead of uh, suede if I if I over dampen it. You know what I mean? But yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you've used it before. If you think this video is uh, helpful on whether or not to purchase this product. 
and just comment down below let me know what y'all think about the video and uh yeah overall satisfied that i could finally rock this 2002 pair of raptor sevens and uh yeah they have their wear they have their defects but a 30 dollars shoe brought back to life solid midsole yeah i'm on my fives right now almost moving up to my sixes and i'll be rocking these once i get to my sevens but if you haven't already y'all can go follow me on instagram or twitter i'm really active on twitter with the family from twitter uh just chop it up with them always throwing my own foots there uh as well as instagram so y'all can follow me there it's the same as the channel 210 guy kicks i don't want to talk your ear off guys i just appreciate each and every one of y'all that rocks out with the channel even though i went missing for a little while uh i'm back so yeah get ready for those videos guys hope y'all staying safe out there with everything that's going on i really do love each and every one of y'all that rocks out with the channel supports the channel hits that thumbs up and is subscribed to the channel guys but yeah it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace, guys. To the next one.